tunnels, with the exception of a slow go at the Manhattan approach to the Queensboro Bridge due to Con Ed repair. Uh, northbound on the BQE, traffic is slow from Tillery Street all the way to Cuddle. Turn tractor trailer in the right lane. And on the incoming Long Island Expressway, major congestion is building in the area of Elmhurst gas tanks due to a three-car accident under the 71st Street pedestrian overpass. Next traffic updated. Thank You got it. See you around 10. Rosie, don't let me forget. Five pounds sweet, five pounds hot. Two rolls of mozzarella for Sally, huh? Right. I'll wrap them. Thanks. Do you want bocconcini? Next batch. Morning, Em. Hey, Rosie. You want a cup of coffee? Had some, thanks. Morning. Mm -hmm. Is Angie here? Angie died in 1985. I'm sorry to hear that. She was a lovely lady. Yes, she was. Thank you. Are you related? She was my mother. She had a lovely daughter. What can I do for you? Well, let's start with the mozzarella. The whole thing. After you've waited, uh, could you come slice? I'm the house. You know, I've spent seven years thinking about tomorrow and mozzarella. <laughs> so where have you been? Pittsburgh. How long have you been back? 20 minutes. <laughs> and you would be very pleased to hear that. Anything else? I have a quarter of um, Genoa. And a quarter of provolone. Tell me your name. Rose de Moore. Rose of Love. Who named you? My father. He's a poet and a prophet. You married? No. You have lunch with me? No. Take the Genoa and the Provolone and Bottle Brunello and go up to the park? No. Rose, take a look out there. It's an incredible day. Spring. Life. No. I mean, yes, but no. You have dinner with me? No. It's uh, going to be uh, 1410, please. You're making a terrible mistake. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first. Would you please bring the sweet sausage from the back? Good morning, Mrs. Lefkowitz. How are you? Oh, better you shouldn't ask. My son's bringing that girl home for supper tonight. 
You got two pounds bills, Rosalind, darling? Yes. A uh, pound of extra thin, right? Not that it matters. She eats nothing. for you. You can't let them die in vain. Take the roses. Sir, I appreciate your support. This is my Uncle Ray. Take the roses, Rose. Thank you. That's a start. He's a lunatic. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Wanna go to the movies? Oh, I got a date with Joey tonight. Great. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, okay, have fun. Great. Before, I'm never gonna see him again. Okay. Why not? Don't start. Where's Ginny? I asked her to stir the sauce in the kitchen. Ray! He's coming! He thinks he's cooking tonight. He's I forgot to tell him to bring the olives. Seem to mind. I mind. <laughs> <laughs> mind. We don't behave like this in Brooklyn. Cuba. Gig, 
have a terrific evening. Right. Let me get my bag. I'm not letting you out of my sight. I don't have a comb. You don't need one. Oh, Rose. Oh. Go for it. Into the car. I don't know your name. Owen Malloy. Now, that's not going to mean a lot unless you're into uh, post-abstract expressionism. I don't even know what it is. I was 19 when I got married to someone whose family we'd known for a long time. They moved out to Long Island. And we grew up. And he started coming around in his car to the old neighborhood, you know. And he was incredibly good looking. Everybody liked him. My cousins. And so we started dating, and I married him. And? And he was mean. He was abusive. He was inadequate. And he didn't want children. My father and my uncle Ray, two of my cousins, paid him a visit. I got an annulment. Then what? Well, later on then, I dated a couple of guys from the neighborhood, you know. Then there was Lou. I knew him for three years and I didn't know him. Other women. So? Last time I walked this bridge, it was Easter Sunday. I was 16. Yeah, who was he? Frank Sparty. Where is he now? He's with his wife and four children. She'd said bay. Good. You know, I used to run this bridge both ways. Twice every morning. Then I'd go back down to Brooklyn and work out at Gleason's. Best gym in the world. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it. Energy, even when it's asleep. Uh, I missed it so much. Why'd you leave? I was spending too much time on work that wasn't going anywhere, so I started again in a new place. Why'd you come back? Oh, I know. To see your sculpture. <laughs> the dealer called me last week. She wants to arrange a New York show this winter. Big time. Very hot. That's wonderful. Yeah, I think so. You know, who was one of the first to tell me I was going to make it big time? Who? Your mother. She used to go through my sketchbooks. She had a terrific eye. She was terrific in a lot of ways. Were you always an artist? Not before Lola Montegra. Who? <laughs> my sixth grade art teacher at Providence. I was also a, uh, a boxer. Really? A light heavyweight. Golden gloves, two professional fights. Mm -hmm. Papa and Uncle Ray used to go down to Sunnyside Gardens every Friday night. Could they have seen you? I fought in Boston. Oh. Why'd you quit? I won my first fight by TKO. 
the second time out. George Gorgo Gordon knocked me through the ropes, broke my wrist. Which one? This one. Six weeks in a cast to decide if boxing and art were mutually exclusive. Art won. Art's better. to dinner. I lost 50 bucks in my... So did I. Where was I? I was there. <laughs> oh, no, no. Mozzarella marinara. Her specialty. Hey, I made the stuffed peppers. Give him a few. There won't be room on the plate for my artichoke. He'll come back. He could come back. He should have it hot. <laughs> you know, when my mother died, my father, Kev, used to tell me stories about when they went to her family's for dinner. This is what I imagined it to be like. You never knew your mother's family? Oh, they've left Providence. Signora Benedetta D'Amore. Ray, Jenny D'Amore, Rose D'Amore. I offer a toast. To love. Amore. A salute. To love. To love. Marry me. What? Marry me. Can't marry you. I don't know you. Rose. Everything we needed to know about each other, we knew in the first hour after we met. Why me? Because you're everything wonderful. You're totally honest, except about facing up to how wonderful you really are. You're generous, you're loving, you care about my work, you want to share it. You understand children. And you are also, in my informed opinion, the most beautiful woman on earth. Yes. Yes, which? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do women always know when you're not telling them the whole story? And why do they always change plans at the last minute? 
why do we keep putting up with them? Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. It's cold filtered for smooth draft taste and dry brewed for no aftertaste. So while women may remain a mystery, refreshment won't. Last week, my girlfriend broke up with me. Then she traded in her Toyota Corolla for this Eagle Summit. Well, did she give you a reason? Said she needed her space. So you got a $400 rebate. Yep, I got it when I bought my new Eagle Summit. Great, what do you plan to do with it? Just drive it when I want to go somewhere. In a world that's anything but perfect, now there's one thing that is. Aunt Jemima syrup with a new perfect pour spout. No drips, no mess. Perfect. Only from Aunt Jemima. What you really want for breakfast. Nothing can quite compare to silky, shiny, German hair. Just beautiful. Just German. Just beautiful. Just German. Never before has there been such a soothing drop in a cough drop. Introducing new Halls Plus, the first cough drop with a real drop of soothing syrup in the center. So Halls Plus soothes your sore throat while it relieves your cough. And it has penetrating vapors to make your stuffy nose feel clearer. New Halls Plus from the Halls of Medicine. We finally put the drop in cough drops. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh. Forged from tragedy, her leadership brought San Francisco together. Tough and caring, she pushed for daycare, added police, and cut crime 20%. Named the nation's most effective mayor and always pro-choice, she has a plan for early childhood education. She's Diane Feinstein, and she'll be there for California. I had dreams of being a dancer, and as a kid, I was pretty good. I love everything about it. The discipline, concentrating on every move. Oh, and one more thing. It makes me the only doctor on staff who owns a tutu. People choose Kaiser Permanente for many good reasons. Dr. Elaine Silver is one of them. Kaiser Permanente, good people, good medicine. Okay. I saw him. And I saw us in it. If you don't like it, they'll give you my check back. Oh, oh.
first thing we need is a bed. Is a bed. <laughs> Madison Avenue. Who shops for a bed on Madison Avenue? Oh, and I've never bought anything on Madison Avenue in my life. What about the kitchen? Oh, I'll take care of the kitchen. We've got a guy. Great. Well, I got a guy for lunch, huh? I'm starved. Oh! What? That black bull with the cedars on. It's beautiful. I made it. When? About 10 years ago, in Brooklyn. Are you sure? If you turn it over, you'll find the Greek letters mu, M, painted in black on the bottom. <laughs> Where are you going? To buy it. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, forget it. No, they'll charge you 400 times what it's worth. I'll make you one. You have a discerning eye, madam. Greek. Fourth century BC. The price is seventeen hundred dollars. I think you're mistaken. My fiance made this. He must be a very old man. <laughs> no. His name is Owen Malloy. Maybe you know his work. I want to give it to him as a wedding present. A marvelous gift, certainly. But I assure you, this is an attic piece. He knew it was his right away. Turn it over. The Greek letter Mu is painted on the bottom in black, his initial. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm amazed woman brought this in as part of an estate consignment. Obviously, someone recognized the skill with which it was done and decided to pass it off as an antiquity. I am acutely embarrassed. Will you sell it to me anyway? If you will allow me, in acknowledgement of his talent and your wedding, to reduce the price to, say, Two hundred dollars. Thank you. May I give you a check? If you have identification. Of course. The Rarin Galleries, is that right? Owen, oh, I'm nervous. It's not an audience with the Pope. Relax. She's an art dealer. It's my father's philosophy to deal in contrasts. The most precious antiquities and modern masters. I include your work in the latter category. Well, that's, uh, it's not too hard to take. <laughs> I'd be honored to represent you. I can promise you a show in the fall that will permanently establish Owen Malloy is a major American artist. What's the split? I love direct. 50-50. Mm. I'm sure you have more favorable terms with a Pittsburgh dealer. But this is your first New York show. And it's the Cobb Gallery. I'll have my attorney in touch with you as soon as Rose and I are back from our honeymoon. Excellent. I hope that'll be in time for the treasures opening. The what? Treasures of antiquity. Forgive me. I tend to regard it as the most important event of the decade. Certainly in terms of Near Eastern art. 120 pieces. Including the Sasanian bowl. Isn't it? It's amazing. Where'd you find it? A private collection in Zurich. We're asking 350,000. <laughs> what does this say in me? Oh, it's a uh, Persian dynasty, uh, third to seventh centuries AD. 
Uh, not a museum you're allowed to touch. What a marvelous piece. Oh, it's lovely. There, Evan. It's the perfect gift for your bride. I've never been to an art show. Well, we won't miss this one. Please don't. Oh, when is the wedding? A week from Saturday. Oh. <laughs> what do I do with my bag during the mass? I can't give it to Joey. He's going to be standing with Owen. Put it under the flowers. Under the flowers! <laughs> oh, making you nervous. Oh, I'm so happy I can't be nervous. No. Delivery from Mr. Moore. You can't come in? You can't see him before the ceremony. I won't look. I just want to talk to him. You swear? I swear. Your bouquet is downstairs. Hello. Here. This is the most important thing that will ever happen to either one of us. It's going to change you. It's going to change me. And it's going to change the world. Because we're going to make the most amazing children. And I'm going to make wonderful art. And you're going to make a beautiful home. And mozzarella. And everything else you want to make because you can do anything that you set your mind to. And we're going to make the best love. I just want to thank, thank you for all that in advance. And I want to thank you for marrying. I love you, Rose. presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Owen and Rose, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Owen. I, Owen. I, Owen. Take you, Rose. Take you, Rose. To be my wife. I, Rose. To be my wife. Take you, Owen. I promise to be true to you. Take you, Owen. I promise to be, to be my true. husband. Be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. But God has joined. Men must not divide. You may kiss the bride.
If you're like a lot of people, you're probably trying to cut back on caffeine. You certainly don't want to find it in unexpected places. So you might be surprised to learn that your pain reliever may contain caffeine. Check the label. There is no caffeine in Tylenol. With Tylenol, all you get is fast, effective relief without caffeine. And you should know that hospitals use Tylenol nearly five times more than all other pain relievers combined. Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. There are those unique individuals born with a special spirit, dedicated, determined, the kind of people you want on your side when you're buying or selling a home. People who sell a house every minute of every day. The professionals of Century 21. Just tell us what you want. It's as good as done. They are arriving now, everywhere. Our newest kinds of quality with new kinds of values. Cash rebates, option package discounts, low financing rates, leasing programs. Come see them now at Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, and GMC truck dealers. During the GM offer of quality, a new kind of quality at a new level of value. Dave Thomas, founder of Wendy's, never knows when inspiration is going to strike. Introducing Wendy's new grilled chicken filet. A whole breast of chicken with lettuce and tomato topped with honey mustard on a toasted bun. This could be Dave's best tasting chicken sandwich ever. This could be my best tasting chicken sandwich ever. Wendy's new grilled chicken filet. It's grilled to be great. Hey, little dude, send your mama and daddy out of the room. I gotta get you up on this. You know who I am. Snake, dealing in weed, coke, crack, your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. Steal from your mama, lie, cheat on your homeboys. But hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes. Thanks so much for coming. I don't know how to do this, Em. Do what, honey? I can't go back to being who I was. And I don't know how to be me now without him. Go wrong, Sam. Why? Why? We may never have the answer to that, Mr. Moore. Mrs. Malloy. Mrs. Malloy, I gotta be straight with you. We got nothing to work with here. Somebody shot my husband in broad daylight on the steps of our church. That's something. It's a big something. Talking evidence. Four nine millimeter slugs. An unidentified weapon. We took conflicting mix of a car, which had opaque windows, so nobody saw anybody. But your husband was a highly respected artist. And no record, no criminal associations. So I think that what we're looking at here is Random violence. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'll be in touch with you, Mrs. Moore. to do next. You don't have to do anything tonight. 
I fixed your little minestrone before I put it away. No, thanks, Jim. Look, you've got to eat something. I'm serious. Drink of the soup, Rosa. This can't be all I know. You know he loved you. Who was he? Who was Owen? Rose, don't do that. Come on, Detective Goldman had it about right. It doesn't make any sense. Lisa Churchill. Owen and I lived together for three years. Tell me about my husband. <gasps> Owen never talked about his friends here. He never talked about how he lived. Owen was an artist. He liked to keep things. Instead of talking about them, he put them into his work. I used to accuse him of having no past. But he was wonderful at sharing the present. Yes. Did he have a lot of friends? The art world is competitive, and Owen was very successful and colorful. And a lot of people were jealous. I was jealous. Oh. We were going to be married. And then he went to New York and married you. I don't understand it. He hated the New York scene. What did you do to him? Didn't do anything to him. I loved him. He loved me. I didn't even know he was dead until Gordon read it in the papers. Who's Gordon? Gordon McLennan, his attorney, his best friend. Gordon loved Owen. 
I loved Owen. This would be easier in the office, but Kitty was right to send you out here. She said this is where Mr. McLennan does his best legal thinking. Gordon. You know who made me this guy? And four others. They're all works of art, and they fly like birds. Kitty say we had a hard time locating you. A colleague in New York got me your marriage license and address. There'll be a registered letter waiting for you when you get home. In essence, it tells you that I'm the executor of Owen's estate. There's a couple of specific bequests, pieces of sculpture you may want to honor. That's a little self-serving. One of them's to me. The other two bequests, interestingly enough, were to people in Brooklyn. Did Owen ever say anything about, about living in Brooklyn? Owen was pretty close about his early years. I had the impression he hadn't a very happy time of it. Well, I knew him. We were happy. It was all there, wasn't it? He'd found you, and the art world had found him. Hey, I'm sorry. Please, uh, go on. Well, there were several specific requests in Owen's will. Uh, one of them was to you. Huh? What kind of request? A bronze sculpture called Artishir. It's in the Pittsburgh warehouse. As soon as the estate is settled, Mr. McLennan will have it shipped. Is there a problem? Well, I mean, there's a, there's a question. Why to me? Well, I guess because he wanted you to have it. Uh, to my friend, Nick Borsakoff, the bronze sculpture Artishir, King of Kings. Mrs. Malloy, I didn't know your husband. I mean, I never met him. I knew his work, of course, but I doubt he would have known mine. Uh, there must be another Borsakov. Nick Borsakov, 9492 Grove Street, Greenpoint. Well, this is bizarre. Will you do something for me? Sure. Put aside everything you know about Owen Malloy and let me tell you a few things about my husband. Yeah, go ahead, go. He came to Brooklyn from Providence. He'd been a Golden Gloves boxer with two pro fights. He gave up boxing for art. He studied at Pratt. He was into ceramics. And then about seven years ago... Johnny. That's John McGuire. Who's John McGuire? Well, it's some guy I know. Well, but there can't be any connection with your husband. Why not? Because Johnny's dead. When did he die? What happened to him? I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because no way is it the same person. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my class. But I don't know. I'm sorry, Mrs. Malloy, but you caught me at a bad time. Who is John McGuire? There is no way I can help you. Nick, please. You have my sympathies, and I wish I had known your husband, but I did. So I would appreciate it if you just leave me out of this. Out of what? That's all I want to know. Out of what, Nick? You guys just think you're so bad. You think that's bad? This is bad. Hot and spicy chicken. So good, it's bad. This is the king of bad. I'm telling you. <laughs> this isn't bad. This is good. This is incredibly good. Hot and spicy chicken. I say something bad? It's October Kentucky Fried Chicken. My son, Jeff. Skateboard fanatic, music lover, guitarist, computer whiz, avid cyclist, football, basketball, hockey player, and all-star catcher. But there is one thing he'll drop everything for. 
Campbell's Chunky Soup. He loves it. Chunky has delicious chunks of vegetables and meat. And best of all, it's quick to satisfy. So Jeff can keep going without slowing down. Campbell's Chunky Soup. The satisfying stop that keeps you going. Don't hurt your hair. Moisturize with Alberto. Don't victimize. Moisturize. Don't agonize. Moisturize. Moisturize with Alberto Moves for home with softness and try our gel spritz and spray. I love my boyfriend, but I go out with Alberto. Even if you make international calls, Sprint can help you select the right savings plan. Bonjour. Ah oui, Madame Birkin. Ne quittez pas, Marie. A dollar here, a franc there. It all adds up. The data are in. They indicate the baby boomers are slowing down. Is that a fact? They've got families to think of. They've no room for fun. Our Pontiac Grand Prix is fantastic. This Ford one really moves. And it's got a great feel for the road. Face it, the good times are over. Since when? The good times are just around the corner in a Grand Prix. Her fingers went over the moles of his face. How perfect and foreign he was. How dangerous. This was the glistening, forbidden apple. She kissed him, putting her fingers over his face, his eyes over his ears to his neck, to know him, to gather him in by touch. Obsession for Men, Calvin Klein. Now your gift with any $27 Obsession for Men purchase at Macy's. Now, during the Mazda Fall Clearance, you can save thousands on a 1990 Mazda 626. Get a 626 now and get $2,000 cash back from Mazda. Or get a 90 Protégé and get $1,000 cash back from Mazda. We're clearing out the 90s to make room for the 91s. So hurry to your Mazda dealer for the best deal now during the Mazda Fall Clearance. At your Northern California Mazda dealer now.
why here? Ladies like you go to health clubs. Women like me go to the pros. Everybody says you're the best. Well, that's true. What, you don't work with women? What do I, look like some kind of chauvinist? No! Show up at six, on time. No tread sneakers. Sweats, no spandex. Come here. Thanks. Don't keep your eye on the ball. Balls are knocked when you can. Okay, Mrs. Malloy. I've run down everything you gave me, and we still have nothing. Nothing? <laughs> You're right. It was a... John McGuire registered for art and design classes at Pratt Institute in the years you gave me um, Social Security number 403446178. But there's no death certificate. I didn't and think no there missing would be. persons report and no record of that individual with the Pittsburgh police, the Pennsylvania Registrar of Voters, or well, the Motor Vehicle Bureau. On the other hand. We have a folder of documentation, birth certificates, uh, automobile registration, uh, U.S. passport, insurance records, your name, all of which indicates that your husband was exactly who he claimed to be, Owen Malloy. Even I know you can buy a birth certificate. Absolutely. But the question is, why would John McGuire art student Pratt want to do that and how does that relate to what still adds up to a random killing that's what I'm asking you and you don't like my answer get, get a load of that who's that I don't know he smokes Havana's the guy And you gotta pull the thread like this, and you make a double stitch, and that then makes it a shell. No, no, here they are. Ah. I can't tell you how appalled I was at the news and what a loss this is to the art community. I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Uh, not really. This is my uncle, Ray DeMore. This is Sybil Cobb. Hi. Your car's doing a lot for the property values. I'm glad to hear it. But what I'd really like is to be able to do something for you, Rose. You can tell me everything you know about Owen before he moved to Pittsburgh. Rosie. I thought he was from Pittsburgh. The first time I became aware of his work was three years ago at a show in conjunction with Carnegie Mellon. Something happened. And nobody will tell me anything. In my experience, we rarely know everything about the men we love. But you can be sure of this about Owen. He was a major talent. And I'd be happy to honor my commitment for a show this fall. I assume you're in control of the estate? Yes. Business is the last thing on your mind at the moment, but I'd be proud to represent his work. I understand what Owen accomplished. And I want to put my name and the prestige of the Cobb Gallery behind it. That's good, huh? Yeah. It's good enough so I can guarantee that Rose will be comfortable for the rest of her life. <laughs> Let me give you my card. This one's the home number. I'm available to you any time. Just to talk about Owen, if you want. To hear someone else say how wonderful he was. Thank you. What a lovely piece. Owen made it. Are you sure? He told me so. It's marvelous. I just want it was Greek. Hmm. Good night. I 
enjoyed meeting all of you. Good night, Rose. Good night. She's a knockout lady. I don't like her. Why not, honey? Kids full of hot Quaker oatmeal. That'll help them through the morning. Now, what about you? You got a morning to get through. Couldn't you stand some nourishment? Wouldn't you like to have a nice, warm feeling inside of you? Well, I'll tell you, you don't get a nice, warm feeling from a bowl of cold cereal. Hi, Dad. Hi. Besides, you don't have to be a kid to love hot apples and cinnamon oatmeal, do you? Mm -mm. Instant Quaker oatmeal. It's the right thing to do. I'm not a complainer, but one thing I've noticed, when I have a headache, headache, headache. Tylenol helps, but sometimes not enough. So when I heard that Excedrin came up with aspirin-free Excedrin, I thought I'd try it. Guess what? It worked better than my extra strength Tylenol. He headache. headache. I mean, when I can get something that works better on my he headache, headache. headache, why shouldn't I? From the makers of Excedrin, aspirin-free Excedrin, at last. I'll have one of your $4 pizzas. Since you have to buy a $10.99 pizza to get a $4 pizza, that'll be $14.99. $14.99 for a $4 pizza? How much is that $4 pizza? $15.78. Actually, that $4 pizza is $13.49, and that $4 pizza is $15.78. I'll just take your cheapest $4 pizza. That'll be $12.99. $14.99. This week, our cheapest $4 pizza is $14.99. Nothing confusing at Little Caesars. Two medium pizzas, eight toppings. Pizza, pizza. $8.88. I'm a big kid with new pull-ups, wow! Big kid pants make me big now. Introducing Pull-Ups Disposable Training Pants from Huggies. They go on like underwear and protect like a diaper, even overnight. And I can pull them off and on. New Pull-Ups Disposable Training Pants. Mommy, wow! First thing we do is get you in shape. Tune up your coordination. Kickboxing comes later. Kickboxing? Well, yeah. We're talking self-defense here, lady. Somebody your size doesn't do it all with their hands. And one, and two, and three. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. Hey, I see you found Barry, huh? Next time we'll go to work. I felt when I was little, and uh, Nona told me about guardian angels. You know, I've been called a lot of things in my life, but I ain't never been called no angel before. Oh, well, to me, it comes naturally because I am so good. <laughs> <laughs> Please, may I buy you both a beer to say thank you? Um, yeah, 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 sure, a beer would be fine. So, uh, how long have you been training at Cruises? Uh, since Golden Gloves. Four years. You ever hear of a light heavyweight named John McGuire? Where's he training? He used to train with Barry. Uh, I guess it was before your time. He was a friend of my husband's. Did you ask Barry about the dude? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm scared of him. Respect. Look, you gotta respect him. You gotta be straight with Barry, all right? And and you'll get next one real quick. So, uh, what do you do, Terry? Oh, I'm a partner with my uncle in uh, the family pork store. You know, meats, all kinds of meats, salami, homemade cheese. <laughs> A butcher, huh? No, no, man, like a deli. No, no, man, look. In this corner, right, we're in the silver trunks weighing 96 pounds. <laughs> Terry, the butcher, the rear. I like
One of the biggest blockbusters of the season is not an action-adventure movie or a sci-fi thriller. In fact, it's not even playing at your local movie theater. It's at your local Subaru dealer. It's the Subaru Blockbuster. Talk about a powerful performance. You can get the Subaru Legacy L sedan with air conditioning, cruise control, and AM FM stereo cassette at spectacular savings. The Subaru Blockbuster. This one is a must see. Now playing at a Subaru dealer near you. There's a wild new breakfast at Burger King. Please, let's not get crazy. Blueberry, oat, red lemon, poppy seed, three very different kinds. To make a wild new breakfast, sometimes you gotta break the rules. Oh, snacking isn't hip without a real cheese dip. That's Cheese Snack Fact. It's a fact. Cheese makes great snacks. So visit the Cheese Snack Shop at your store. If you want to top this at a slice of Swiss, that's a Cheese Snack Fact. Visit your Estee Lauder Beauty Advisor today and she'll treat you to this gift with any $12.50 purchase. Yours through November 3rd at Emporium. This is Propositions 90, a Channel 7 viewer service provided in the public interest. Proposition 136 is one of the most deceptive measures ever placed on the ballot. It is paid for by alcohol money to protect their own tax breaks and limit the power of the voter. It will make it harder to hold the politicians accountable and it gives a special interest and undemocratic advantage over the voters. Vote no on 136. The foregoing does not necessarily reflect the opinion of Channel 7, but we urge you to be informed and vote on Election Day. Somebody dropped a car on you? Tried to. They missed. All right, Mrs. Malloy. I'll send somebody down to check it out. And then what? And then we'll try to find out who owns it. And where it came from. And how long will that take? Maybe a day or so. And what do I do in the meantime? Stay home. And for this, I pay taxes. Coffee, please, Em. Large. Hey. Kurt's on the counter. Back in a minute. What's going on here? I've been worried about you. That makes two of us. It's okay, Ray. This is a friend of Owen's. Nick, this is my Uncle Ray. We'll be just a few minutes. I started the cheese. I made Vulcan cheese. Look, I'm sorry I stonewalled you the other day, but I was really shaken up. I mean, Johnny was my best friend for a lot of years. We were at Pratt together. We shared a studio over on Dean Street. Why'd you tell me he was dead? Well, because I thought he was. For reasons, reasons which are making me very uneasy about you, Rose. Please. Please tell me. No, uh, All right. It's early 80s, right? Johnny was in serious trouble. Now, I don't know what. Because he wouldn't tell me. But I thought, maybe drugs. Drugs? Well, all of a sudden, he had money. And he started getting private. There was odd hours and strange phone calls. And then he disappeared overnight. 
And I knew if he was okay, he would have been in touch. But there was none. Not a word until you turned up. Now, the point is, if Johnny went to Pittsburgh and became Owen Malloy, then he came back here and got himself killed for real seven years later, that means that trouble was heavy. And you could be in danger yourself. I am. Then be careful, Rose. Don't run around asking questions. What else? Uh, nothing else. What do you mean? I don't believe you. You don't get it, do you? I see. Just think about it, Rose. Think real good. Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. Thanks, Ray. Bye. Oh, and then drugs. It's ridiculous. Just drugs? People lie. Or they evade, or they won't talk, or they're, they don't give a damn. Rose, I gotta tell you, you're making me crazy. I want you to listen. I want you to take me seriously for once. I want you to believe that something happened to Owen here in Brooklyn in the days when he knew Mama and, and brought in his sketchbooks and bought mozzarella. Something happened to him that sent him away. And when he came back, it killed him. So when did you become a cop? Last I looked, you make the cheese. Stop talking down to me, Ray. Stop talking sense to me. I Ray. am. I am making very good sense. Only you are refusing to listen to me. Now, why is that? I'm just trying to take care of you. Well, I don't want to be taken care of. My whole life I spent being taken care of. I'm so sick of playing the family hothouse rose. And I should think you'd be sick of it, too. So what do you want from me? I want a little, just a little, a little respect. Oh, leave me alone. I've got to go make the cheese. I'm not Terry Luria. My name is Rose Malloy. My husband was Owen Malloy. And he was shot dead on our church steps the morning of our wedding. And the police don't seem to care very much. So what else is new? I believe you knew Owen as John McGuire. And I need you to tell me everything you know about John McGuire, because I think the people who killed him are after me, and I don't know why. I was afraid you wouldn't talk to me if you knew who I was. Oh, uh, Rose, this is my wife, Carol. Carol, this is Rose Malloy. Carol? Hi. Rose is Johnny Maguire's widow. Johnny? He was living in Pittsburgh under another name. He came back to marry this lady and got himself killed. Oh, Rose. Honey, I am so sorry. Please, sit down. Thank you. Well, we, uh, we're talking late 70s here. Johnny had just come down from Providence. He trained with me, and that's, that's how we started hanging out together. And he used to bring me mozzarella from this little place up on Fifth Avenue. That's my family store. He was working as a welder and going to art school. He lived poor. Pretty soon, he gave up construction work altogether. He said he had a market for his art. 
pots and stuff, you know. And one night in 83, the doorbell rang about 2 a.m. And it was Johnny. He said that he was in some sort of trouble, that somebody was after him. He gave me something to hold for him and said he'd be in touch. Anyway, that was the last that we saw of him. What did he leave with you? Uh, Is there something in there? Uh, it feels like it. But it was sealed and it wasn't ours to open anyway. Can we open it now? It's up to you. Please. It is interesting, though, huh? I figure it to be for some sort of funeral procession. What is all this? You tell me. What's this gizmo? Sydney and a date over and over and over again. Who's Sydney? I don't know. This be this? They look the same to me. May I take this? It's yours. So what are you gonna do now? Get some help. even if you don't. Thanks, Barry. It's all right. These are friends of mine, uh, 747 Green and then Lee Bowen. This is my Uncle Ray. Friend. Hi. Yeah, what's happening? What's wrong? Look, uh, Barry got hurt last night. He's in critical condition at St. Vincent's. Carol wanted you to know. When last night? Right after you left. He got run down. Carol thinks it was meant for you that you'd understand. Is Barry going to be all right? They don't know. Who's looking to run you down? I'll explain later. Forget about it. I'm calling Goldman. No, I know what to do next. And I know how to do it. Then we'll go to Goldman. But I'm not going over there and have Goldman tell me that it, there's no evidence and I don't know what I'm talking about. Have you got a car? Right outside. Will you drive me up to the museum? You want us to wait? Oh, no, thanks. I'm safe here. What makes you think that? What could be safer than a museum? There's a guard in every room. Give Carol my love. Tell her I'm praying for Barry. I'll come by just as soon as I can. Yeah. I'm really grateful. My pleasure.
Yeah, can I help you? Please. Who could tell me where these came from? Classical. Where did you get these? They belong to, uh, they're part of an estate. In my opinion, someone was forging artifacts, specializing in Greek ceramics and Sasanian metalwork. Doing it very well indeed. Do you know who? My husband, Owen Malloy. Civil cop show. You know about it? Oh, yes, of course. It's a major event. Could this be this? Do you realize what's at stake here? I'm not sure. For openers, the bowl itself and the rest of the cob offering will bring several million dollars. But beyond that, the reputation of an internationally known dealer's on the line. And that's worth thousands of millions. If the Cobb Gallery is discovered to be intentionally dealing in forged art, they're out of business. Excuse me a moment. mistaken, but this piece looks very much like one in our Persian collection. May I keep this material for a while? Of course. We'll check out our Riton, compare it with the mold, and if it's the same, we'll go to acquisitions and find out from whom it was purchased. Which gets me to the important question. Who is Sydney? I've never heard of him, but let me get into it. One of my colleagues may know. Uh, did your husband have an agent or someone he worked with who might be able to tell you? May I use your phone? Sure. forgery in Brooklyn in the early 80s. Are you there? Yes. You'll have to come to me. Where are you? Museum. No. No, no, no. Too many people know me over there. I'll meet you in the Botanic Gardens. Lobby of the conservatory. 20 minutes. So, Johnny sort of backed into art forgery. You know, it's to support himself, his own work, his tuition. We were poking around in a gallery one afternoon, and John spotted this little Greek bowl. Well, the dealer, he wanted some outrageous price for it. Johnny said he'd go make one of his own. The dealer, he did this condescending number about how the 
the craftsmanship in the slip were beyond any contemporary ceramist. Well, Johnny, Johnny goes back to Brooklyn. He sits down at his wheel and he throws a ball, all right? And he decorated it. He was a hell of a draftsman, too. I mean, he could copy anything. And we sent his girlfriend, Iris, into the gallery with his piece. Oh, the guy announces it's Greek. It's fifth century BC. He gives her 500 bucks for it. Then Johnny and I, we walk in there and we pull that carpet out right from under him. And I'm telling you, that dealer, he nearly had a heart attack. The dealer was Sidney? Johnny used to call him Slick Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Sidney was in a bind. And he laid a demand on Johnny to forge a big piece, a Persepolis relief. You know, I mean, he had the Persian stone he wanted Johnny to do the carving. And the thing would have brought uh, half a million dollars. Johnny said no. You know, it, it was too big. It was seriously criminal, too dangerous. Well, Sidney told Johnny. If he refused to cooperate, he would break his hands. Yeah. See, so Johnny, Johnny lost it. When he punched Sidney out, I don't know, he probably thought he killed him. And then Sidney's guys, there was like that four or five of them, they got Johnny up against a wall. And Johnny turned, and he went through a window into the river. There was no sign of him. I thought for sure he was dead. And then Sidney told me if I kept my mouth shut, we could uh, continue to do business. Otherwise, I was a dead man. And I believed him. And you were right. Why did Owen, Johnny, keep the things in the box? Probably for insurance. Johnny never doubted he'd be famous. If somebody tried anything like blackmail, they'd be in trouble. Somebody like Sidney? Yes. Who is he, Nick? Ferrer and Galleries, Madison Avenue. Now it's time to make stuffing. Stove Top makes it easy to push a little button. Stove Top Microwave Stuffing is easy to make. Just three minutes in its own tray. And it's delicious. Stove Top Stuffing for your microwave oven. Yeah! Quaker Oats has a lot of stuff that's good for you, like complex carbohydrates. But that's only half the story. See, it hasn't got a lot of stuff that's bad for you, like a lot of fat. Quaker Oats, it's the right thing to do. Three reminders from a leader in four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive technology. One, don't try this without the advantage of four-wheel drive. Two, don't try this without the advantage of all-wheel drive. And three, don't try one or two without the advantage of Jeep or Eagle. felt like I've sacrificed taste, you know, in eating healthy foods. Christy Brinkley makes the healthy choice. To eat a healthy choice pasta, you feel like you're indulging, and yet you haven't really done anything wrong. Delicious healthy choice entrees, great tasting meals, not only low in calories, but the lowest in fat, sodium, and cholesterol. Zucchini lasagna. I could go for that right now. Listen to your heart. Make the healthy choice.
Ms. Nevitt is our attorney, and Mr. Hurley handles the museum's insurance. You have this place in an uproar, Mrs. Malloy. What's happened? Well, the museum Riton matches the mold, and we purchased the Riton in 1983 from the Cobb Gallery. Forgery number one. Now, look at this. The pattern on the bowl. Yes? Compare with these. I don't know what these are. Metal stamps. Look at the ends. They match the pattern on the bowl. Your husband made that piece. Forgery number two, handled by Ms. Cobb. Ladies and gentlemen, the museum is now closed. Thank you for attending. We'll open again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Museum's closing. Uh, we're asking all visitors to leave immediately. Oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Museum's closing. We're asking all visitors to leave immediately. We were on our way out. All clear? We're of the opinion that Mr. Sidney has been supplying the Cobb Gallery with forged and stolen art for an extended period of time. When Sybil Cobb showed this to Owen and me, she must have known that he recognized it. They killed him. We must ask to keep this material, Mrs. Malloy. We need to contact the police immediately. Tell your police to call my police. Detective Goldman, 87th Precinct. I'm headed there right now. Succeed. understand is how Sydney knew that Owen was back. I told her. You? 
I bought the bowl. I told him that my fiance had made it. I proved he had made it. Then I gave Sydney my address. You were proud of Owen. Who wouldn't be? Besides, you didn't know the whole story because Owen hadn't been straight with you. Come on. I want to get there before Goldman does. No, I think I know. But will you tell me why you need to do this? Go ahead and go ahead. A little bit for Owen. A lot for me. For me. Barbara! Uh, your invitation, please. Thank you. Thank you. May I have your invitation, please? Mary Margaret, give me the invitation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, just a moment. We've got a bum leg here. And, uh, the stick Do you have an invitation? Catch my breath. Just for the Yeah, well, no, we got it. little feathers. Without a doubt, this is the most important piece I've offered in many years. It really is a major acquisition. Well, hey, it was made in Brooklyn. Rose. But then so many things sold at this gallery were forged in Brooklyn. Tell me this, Sybil. Tell them, too. Did you know your supplier was going to murder my husband? Oh. <laughs> my dear. This is Owen Malloy's widow, and I'm afraid she's... she's gone to the police, and the museum, and the New York Times, and everyone else I could think of. And Detective Goldman is on his way up here right now. But I wanted the pleasure of telling you myself. Actually, the bowl is quite a buy. It's a forgery, but it's by Owen Malloy. I don't need an invitation. Excuse me. Just let me through here, please. Dean. Sybil Cobb. I have a warrant for your arrest. say <laughs> the old guy's out of shape <laughs> Barry and Carol 747 and Lee I'd like you to meet my family my grandmother Mrs. Damori my aunt Ginny my uncle Ray my best friend Mary Margaret Muldoon and her friend Joey my fiance Joey oh <laughs> <laughs> It's about time. <laughs> I need you to get strong and back to work as fast as you can. Hey, the butcher's gonna turn pro, huh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> Gotta have a training program for expectant mothers. <gasps> I'm gonna have Owen's baby in the spring. Oh, oh my Bettina! <laughs> about highways, don't worry about hills, 
Don't worry about passing. Don't worry. Be happy you've got the perfect car. The 1991 Toyota Camry with its available V6 156 horsepower engine. Camry, the most trouble-free car in its class three years in a row. I love what you do for me. I'm happy. Toyota. If you're trying to lose a few pounds and butter is out, you're going to love this. Molly McButter. Now you can shake on the taste of butter for just four calories. Molly McButter. Molly McButter Natural Butter Flavor Sprinkles. The taste of real butter with only four calories per serving. A very wholesome, 100% natural four little calories. So indulge yourself. Molly McButter. You've got Molly now. This message is brought to you by Maytag. The dependability people. Now get a $50 bond with select washers and dishwashers. Mannington has invented a new floor that breaks the shine barrier. Introducing Mannington Gold. Its new surface resists scuffs, scratches, and dents to keep shining twice as long as Armstrong's best floors. Discover the lasting beauty of Mannington Gold, a shining example of what a floor should be.